Let me preface this by saying I'm not a runner. I have not run more than like a mile, two miles straight in a decade. That's where my experience level was at before attempting 13 miles. Hey you guys, I am on my way to pick up my bib. Downtown is like buzzing right now. Kind of wish that was me right now, vibing. Drinking, no worries in the world over there. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm having an anxiety attack. Look at her. She's official. No turning back now. Okay, that was an adventure. So first of all, where this pickup station is, is like right smack dab downtown Nashville, Friday evening. Truly the worst place in time to like drive down here. Um, there was like party buses and like the vibe was cray cray. So I put into my GPS the address that's on the little flyer, whatever the email that we got. And I guess I didn't look close enough and there was like a north on the end of the address. And I guess I went to that exact address but the south version of it. So I park and you have to pay to park. So I parked i paid for an hour because i'm like okay it says i'm so close so i park i pay and i like walk basically in circles because I'm like looking for a municipal auditorium i'm like how can i miss this like a freaking auditorium like what am i doing wrong so i'm basically like walking up and down the street and finally i see somebody walking away with like a race bag and I'm like, hey, where did you get that from? I've been looking for it. And they're like, oh, it's like 30 minute walk down the street. And I'm like, wait, what? And so then I look closer at, at the address. I put in freaking south and it was supposed to be north. So then I'm like, okay, should I drive? Like, I don't know. So then it said 25 minute drive, 25 minute walk, I guess because the traffic is bad because they're setting up all the race stuff. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to walk. I'm for sure going to get a ticket at this point because I'd already been walking around in a circle for like 25 minutes trying to find this place. So... <laughs> I like walk fully uphill by the way. It's supposed to be a really chill rest day. Your girl's like <laughs> walking up a hill, booking it. I paid for only an hour, so I want to go as fast as possible. So then I go, I'm there. I'm like, okay, I made it. All I need is my bib, my shirt, and then I'm out. But they don't let you leave that easy. They do not let you leave that easy. They're like, no, you're actually going to go through an expo of like 100 vendors. It's going to take you a while because everyone's going to stop and peruse and no one's in a hurry, which I respect and totally get, except for I am in a hurry because I do not want to pay for a ticket. I just try to like to weave through the people as fast as possible. The second I got outside, it started raining. So that's why I'm all kind of, it, I guess it's kind of dried at this point. You can't really see it. What a time. What a freaking time. I went back to my car and it stopped raining and I don't think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Let me check. Earlier this week, there was a chance it was gonna rain tomorrow. Yeah, it's supposed to be actually really beautiful tomorrow. It's gonna be cold in the morning, like 45 degrees and then it gets up to 66. That's like perfect. Like I couldn't, that's a blessing truly. As far as how I'm feeling, I'm feeling better today. Obviously, I'm still very anxious. I have like pre-race day jitters, but no, you guys saw last night, I was like spiraling and I was like, let's get this over with. Let's get this over with. Is it 13.1 or 13.2? Honestly, <laughs> beside the point, I don't think the last 0.1 mile is really what's gonna do me in. I've just been stressed out this week. I've been in my head. I feel very unprepared. I'm just scared about it all, to be honest. Chandler's brother's in town this weekend, and so I wanna like be able to go out and hang out with them on Saturday and Sunday and like enjoy it. And I'm just like, what if I take forever? And then everyone's waiting on me, and then I don't feel good, and I'm sore, and I can't go anywhere, and all la la la. It's like impending, impending doom of Saturday. Wish I was more excited and not as scared. I don't even know why I'm scared. It's like, no one's expecting anything of me, right? I'm literally just putting the pressure on myself, which is so annoying. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know why I'm, why I'm being like this. I'm really trying to not have that mindset. Like at the end of the day, yes, I had a moment last night. I fully give myself grace to have moments like that where I'm just like, oh my God, I'm freaking out, freaking out. But at the end of the day, like I really do try to ground myself as much as possible. And I'm very blessed and grateful to be able to have the opportunity to run in something like this, to be able to walk, to move. Like I know a lot of people don't have those simple luxuries. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of had to like reframe my mindset, think like that, like I'm just blessed to be able to do this. And I'm blessed to be able to run it with some of my friends. We're not like running it together, but we're like supporting each other through it. Obviously still very nervous, but I don't want to wish away. I don't want to wish away things. So I'm just trying to take in every moment as much as possible and enjoy it as much as I possibly can through the pain 
and the anxiousness. So um, that's where we were at. As far as today, that's really all I needed to get done. I had to pick that up today. And then the rest of the night, I'm just gonna relax. For dinner tonight, I'm gonna carb up before the race. And that's pretty much it. I just have to like, like lay out my shoes, lay out my clothes. I also want to like finalize my race day playlist. So I think I'm gonna do a mix of music and then Peloton like outdoor run classes. I had been doing my whole training, basically like all of my long runs. I barely listened to my own playlists. I just did Peloton classes. So I'm thinking that's probably what I'm gonna do tomorrow, but I wanna have like a backup playlist just in case I wanna listen to my own music or whatever it may be, just to be prepared. So I need to prep that today as well. I'm realizing I talk with my hands so much. Like, I can just see in the peripheral. I'm like, mm. anyways, kind of all over the place. I'm gonna head home and then we're gonna order in some food. I've been loving doing a hydration packet every day this week. I wanna just like keep my hydration and electrolyte levels up, um, like going into tomorrow so that I'm like already ahead and I'm not starting from like ground zero, zero with hydration. So I've been doing one of these every day this week and I feel like it's made a really big difference. Also two, two to three of these every day too. Hydration's on point. I don't know, I don't know about anything else, but your girl's hydrated. About to head to bed, I'm gonna just get my clothes and shoes laid out. Boys are downstairs watching a movie. We just ate the most delicious dinner. It was literally perfect. I had, it was like spaghetti, gnocchi, pepperoni pizza and margarita pizza. So I had a little bit of the spaghetti, a little bit of the gnocchi, and then one slice of the pepperoni. I'm feeling good. Tomorrow morning, I'll probably just have like a couple of rice cakes, peanut butter, and banana. And then like I think I mentioned, I have those energy chews to like snack on during the race. So I'm gonna hit the hay. It's only 8.30, but I'm feeling honestly pretty tired. I have to wake up around six. I'm gonna get my clothes laid out and shoes and have that ready. And then I'll like do my water and everything and get like my race little pouch ready in the morning. I've tried so many running shoes on this training and I always go back to my Brooks. These are Brooks Adrenalines. I love these so much. I was debating between these and these Hoka Rincon or whatever, Rincon? Hoka Rincon. Um, I like these too. I think I'm doing my Brooks so for the big day. I just love these. You guys, I think, I think we're pretty much ready. I got all my clothes laid out. My Apple Watch is charging. My AirPods are already charged. My phone's charging. I have my alarm set for six. We're gonna try to leave here at seven. The actual half marathon starts at 7.20, but I'm like not in any of the first corrals. So I think I'll be good to leave here at seven. That will get me there around 7.30, can warm up. I should be plenty of time. I'm gonna wake up in the morning, I'm gonna do my normal routine that I've been doing, have a cup of coffee, two rice cakes, peanut butter, banana. So yeah, not gonna change anything. I just finished creating my official Peloton stack of classes that I'm gonna listen to tomorrow. Let me show you, actually, I'm really excited about them. <laughs> so my total stacked classes will last me, if I do all of them, three hours and 20 minutes, which should be plenty of time, seven total classes. So I have like a little, I'm using Andy as a warm up, and then I have like my favorite instructors. I love Adrian, Alex Toussaint, um, Robin, Jess. These are like my go tos. I feel like they're so motivating. They have the best music. I really love hip hop when I run, so I have like a lot of hip hop focused classes, but I'm really excited about these. Some of these I've done before, and some of these are gonna be new, and I like that because. Like I know the ones I've done before, I know sort of how the class is gonna go. I know the, the songs that are coming, but I am excited to have like new classes so that I'm not, um, you know, getting bored with the same thing. So on all of my long runs so far that I've done, I have never listened to my own playlist. Like I always do Peloton classes. I just find that I'm so much more motivated and I, I love them. So that's the plan, you guys, it's almost here. I'm gonna hit the hay, it's nine. Oh my God, wild Friday. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Clearly Chandler and his brother had a night. Okay. It was like breaking. Ah! What, what am I supposed to do with 
Liz! What do I do with you? Sometimes there are just things that are worth getting the name brand of. <gasps> I forgot to feed Bristol. You. That's so yummy. Bristol eats before we eat in this house. I saw Chandler open a banana for the first time and I lost my mind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what he did. <laughs> Point of view, you're me. This is what Chandler did, you guys. I thought that I moved in with an absolute psychopath. My second alarm. I'm ahead of the game, you guys. Last night, I wasn't so sure. I set four alarms. I think I'm gonna prep my little bell bags upstairs, but I'm gonna prep everything to put in it. I just got these, both of these little um, water packs on Amazon. I'm gonna fill the eight ounce with just water, and then for the 12 ounce one, I'm gonna mix uh, new with it. I prefer, this is very similar to a liquid IV. Let me see this. Very similar to a liquid IV, but I find that liquid IV was hurting my stomach. I don't know, I think it's like more sugar and like added stuff in it, so I've been really liking these. So I'm gonna fill these up, and I think I'm also gonna make a liquid IV for this morning too. Why not? These are nice because as you drink, them they'll get smaller and like condense in your bag so it's not taking up like a ton of space okay this is way too full okay don't fall obviously they're gonna have like gatorades and water stations there but i just want to be prepared i also heard there's not like a ton of water like the later part of the race so eh. okay cool and then i have a little snack. I got these energy chews. I think I told you guys I'm not a gel person. Like a lot of people do the energy gel. I can't do that. So I tried these and I really like them. Serving size five pieces. What? Eat one packet per hour during exercise. Eat when you need energy fast. Holy shit. I thought this was supposed to last me like the whole race. Okay. I don't think uh, I'm going to just do two packs. I think that's going to be plenty. So as far as what's in my bag, liquid IV water, just eight ounces of water. I'm gonna bring two of these and then it'll be my phone and my headphones, so. Let's go get ready. You know, I was thinking last night, you know like when you're traveling, like you're traveling on the highway and you see to the sign like 15 miles until whatever. Yeah. That's so long. And what? That's so long. Oh, long, yeah. Like 50 those, miles. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I'm gonna run. Like in a car, baby. <laughs> yes. 13 miles until you're like, like You're like, oh my god, 15 miles. Like, I don't know if I can hold my pee or whatever. Yeah. And then I'm about to run that. It's kind of insane. Yeah. 13 miles <laughs> until the next Chick fil A. 13 miles? <laughs> so far. Chandler's responsible for getting footage um, of the race. So, if there's nothing after this clip, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't do a very good job. <laughs> All right, wish me luck. Personal best for you, no matter what. Don't believe in yourself. Have fun. Could be a alpha. Could be a Romeo. Tell them boys back up. I ain't going nowhere. I'm a fight that back up. Put it on your story so what your friends see it. Everyone can see it. Yeah. And we going and going and going. It's a good night. Baby, let it roll like the good times. Smoking and pouring, I'm focused on you. Yeah, you can see it. Everyone can see it. And I bet everyone's looking. Yeah. Didn't take long, like eyes when I walked into you, feeling of your red cup. And we got the same thing, probably like the same things. Didn't speak a word, but you know what's up. That connection is what you crave. You paint on something to change. Fucked over a thousand times, then gave me once the same. But it's not the case right here, right now. The first sight shit is no joke. Yeah. I could be no alpha. I could be no I got Hogan. Hogan? Okay. Hogan for five. Okay. Five is gonna be a lot. It's a draw. Draw for, draw for neither, yeah. Neither. Nike. 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 No, those are Brooks. 
That's okay. Bro. Yeah, oh, right, here we go. What do you have? Brooks, you're hoping. Something for everyone. Bro, there's a Brooks. There's a Brooks. Damn it. It's all of them. There she is. Nice Shit. work. Once we found out it was a different uh, finish line, we're like, what the fuck? They didn't tell us. What do you, wait, what? It's because it was a different finish line. Then I asked you, I know, we went so there, I was, and I was so like, oh, upset God. because I was like grinding. Yeah. I thought that was the finish line. Then I was like, where the fuck is it? No. It's not a different route then. The yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Nice work. I am so sore. But I have to rally. We're going to go grab brunch, a couple drinks. This is a little fit and chugging water, but I'm gonna make a little, little spritz. Whoops. Ugh. Ow. Just a little. Did it, you guys. Oh my god. I'm ready to have a fun day and celebrate. I'll do a little sit down chat on how everything went tomorrow. It wasn't really according to plan, but we made it. I simply cannot put this video off any longer. It is a full week now after half marathon day, and I have yet to film a recap. I'm gonna go ahead and just say ignore the bed right now. We're washing the sheets, and so all of the pillows everything's just like kind of thrown on the bed so I apologize if that's distracting but kind of getting ready for the night right now sitting on the floor and I thought okay I need to get this filmed I do have a lot of thoughts and I've been putting this off because I want to make sure that I'm saying what I want to say eloquently and it's been like thought out because if I would have filmed this literally the day after the race or the day of the race I probably would have been like so negative and been like I'm never doing that shit again this was the worst experience of my life because <laughs> it was really freaking hard so I'm glad I gave it a week I had time to like reflect on how it went and let's chat about it let's do a little recap to be quite honest the race the training was brutal I, let me preface this by saying like I'm not a runner I have not run more than like a mile two miles straight in a decade so Keep that in mind. I'm not a natural born runner, so this was already outside of my comfort zone. I have done one half marathon before when I was 16. Um, <laughs> that didn't matter though, I will say. At that point in my life, I did run a lot. It was like in high school. I, I didn't do anything else. Like I didn't lift weights. I only ran. After running that half marathon, I basically just didn't run anymore. <laughs> And I haven't run for 10 years since then. So that's kind of like my background. Chandler ran this half marathon last year and it kind of got me thinking. And so I signed up spontaneously um, before the new year because I really wanted to get on a consistent workout schedule. So that is why I decided to sign up for something because I felt like it was gonna motivate me to like stay on my running schedule and like not skip workouts. And I will say that it did to a certain point. However, about halfway through my training, I just got very resentful of running. Like I, I didn't like being forced to run or being forced to run or like feeling like I had to. I did like a 12 week half marathon training program. There's so many you can download online. A lot of them are very similar, but um, basically the training called for like two shorter runs during the week and then one long run on the weekends. And so I would say for the first like six months, I didn't miss one run. Like I did all of my short runs. I did my speed work. I did um, my long runs on the weekends. And then at about the six week mark, I was just so burned out. Like I wasn't getting the endorphins anymore from running. I just felt like it was more of a chore. And also we were busy on the weekends. Like we were traveling a lot. We just had a lot of things to do. And I felt like more than anything, it was just like a hassle to like plan out when to do my long runs. So I already kind of had this feeling going into the marathon, to the half marathon, right? Like I was already burnt out by running. I was like ready for it to kind of be over. My training called for me to run 11 miles. I never ran that. I never ran 10 miles. I barely ran nine miles. So 
that's where my experience level was at before attempting 13 miles. So on race day, I started out pretty strong. So I was averaging, I was very conscious to like start slower. So I was averaging like 12, 30 to 13 minute miles, which for some of you that might be very, very slow. For some of you, it might be fast. I don't know, everyone's at their own level, but I'm just gonna be completely honest. Like to me, that was like slower than I thought I was gonna run. When I initially started to do this entire training, I thought I was gonna do like an 11 to 12 minute mile that just, never happened really <laughs> um so i was averaging like 12 30 to 13 30 i would say for like the first honestly like seven miles and then from seven miles it kind of like went to like 13 to 14 minutes and it just like got a little bit slower but i was still like fine i was still like pushing through i feel like the adrenaline of the race like the adrenaline of the day was like powering me through and then right about mile 10 i don't know how to explain it but I just absolutely hit a wall mentally. Like I basically hit 10 miles and I was proud of myself because up until that point I hadn't walked at all. And that is the most that I've run straight ever, I would say, like in my entire life without walking. Um, Cause even when I did the half marathon years and years and years ago, I walked through it too. So I ran 10 miles and I was very proud of myself, but it's almost like I hit 10 miles and then hit a mental block. So I told myself, okay, just like walk really quick, walk for like a quarter of a mile, kind of reset. And then you just have three miles to go. Like it's nothing, it's like not that bad. After running 10, three miles feels like nothing, but I, I don't know how to explain it. Like I just couldn't, I couldn't bring myself mentally to start running. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I just ended up walking for like three quarters of a mile and finally was like, okay, like I have to run at this point. Like I, I've completely like slowed down. I've lost all momentum. So then I like tried to run again. And then I feel like the last three miles, I was just like, it was just dragging. Like I was like alternating between walking and running. And I can't explain it because I feel like physically I felt okay to run. Like I wasn't feeling super sore. I wasn't feeling like like I couldn't run, right? It's like mentally couldn't force myself to like maintain a run. Yeah, so the last three miles absolutely sucked. They were so brutal. I mean, it was to the point where I had, I had half a mile left and I couldn't even like run half a mile. Like I was like, okay, I'll just, I'll walk until I'm about a quarter mile out and then I'll run through the finish line. I it's just like, I can't explain it. It was just like mentally I was just done. I was just absolutely ca cashed out, done. And then once I finished it, I just remember thinking I'm never gonna do this again. I'm never gonna say never because I said that t a decade ago and then here I am 10 years later I ran a marathon I ran a half marathon um, but I truly don't think I will again anytime soon just the type of person who really likes to have variety in their workout as you get closer to race day and like your mileage is like increasing just other aspects of your workout routine have to come down to kind of accommodate for that volume I was just missing like other forms of workout that I love doing which is like high intensity and strength training and I really like pushing myself in other areas and I missed doing like those type of workouts. I also felt like my body just wasn't responding well to the runs. Like I felt so inflamed all the time and just like, I don't know, like bloated. Like I feel like I wasn't recovering properly and I was really trying to be good with my nutrition and like get enough protein and all of that. So I just don't think that like long distance running is like great for me. Like my body just didn't respond great to it. And that, you know, I would have never known that without trying. So long story short, like I don't regret doing it. And it was absolutely a mental challenge that I overcome. And I feel like that is so important for us to attempt and to do um, in our life. So I'm very proud of myself, but I'm very excited to switch up my workout routine um, and have already switched it up this past week. And it's been like the most fun I've had working out in so long. So I finally feel like I have that like love back. Let me know. I would love to know if you guys have ran a half marathon or if you're thinking about it or if you've ran a full marathon, like what is your experience like? Can you relate to how I felt? I just feel like before I started, I had only ever heard of people being like, it was an amazing experience. Like it was hard, but I loved it and I'm going to do it again. And people get like addicted to it. And that just like couldn't be farther from my experience at all. I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know why. I just, I didn't love it. I would love to know your thoughts on it and kind of your experience because obviously everyone has a different experience and this is mine. I think that if you love to run or if you want to challenge, this is an absolutely great, great option for you. Um, for me personally, my body didn't respond well to it and I feel like it was like taking away from my life more so than it was adding to it. So at the end of the day, probably not worth it for me to do it again. And that's, that's my final thoughts. I'm very excited to 
finally have this film that I feel like I was putting it off for so long because I wanted to come on here and be like, oh my God, you guys, it was the best ever. Like it went so great and my time was so great. And realistically, that just wasn't the case. That just wasn't the case at all. And you know, I'm gonna be real with you guys. So um, thank you so much again. I hope you at least enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you a little bit of insight into kind of race day and prepping for race day and my experience. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. I could be your alpha, I could be your Romeo Tell them boys back up, I ain't going nowhere